Hi everyone, a very good evening to all of you. I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another special session. And today we are going to talk about the central bank digital currency. So why are we talking about this CBDC? Is for the simple reason that RBI has recently released a concept note, as in what is CBT, CBDC according to RBI? What are the advantages and issues related to CBDC? What kind of technology is RBI thinking to include in this CBDC? All of these will be talked about in today's video. I hope you will be liking this video and since you all have heard about the central bank digital currency and it has been implemented by a lot of countries. So does India really need a central bank digital currency? We've already talked about that in one of our previous video. Today we'll talk about what CBDC is all about in terms of RBI. So without any delay, let's get started with the session. But before that, if you have still not downloaded our app, you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. Maha ja ke is app ko download karo in order to gain all of these benefits. Hai? So let's get started. As I have mentioned, we are, talk, we are going to talk about the issuance of concept note by RBI on central bank digital currency. So why has RBI released this concept note? Why RBI ko ye need feel hua that it should release certain note or guidelines on central bank digital currency? Is for the simple reason that RBI wanted to create some kind of awareness in the public about the central bank digital currency. Bohat sari jagah, pe hai, plus several newspapers and agencies write about central bank digital currency. But what does that mean in the pretext of a country like India? Us cheese me clarity lane ke liye, RBI has come up with this cent, with this concept note on central bank digital currency. And therefore, RBI wants to create awareness as well as it wants to talk about the planned features of the digital rupee. Agar in case, as if at all, India has a central bank digital currency that will be known by the na by the name of digital rupee. So e rupee ke naam se jana jayega, right? The e rupee system and this e rupee system ke kya features honge? Usko RBI ne outline karne ki koshish kari hai. Right now, this is a way through which RBI wants to approach for the central bank digital currency and introducing the same in the Indian economy. And this is the reason why RBI has also mentioned that it is thinking of coming up with a pilot launch. What is a pilot launch? Pilot launch means for the entire country, it will not be launched, it will be launched only for a sev. For a certain segment of people, kuch jagho ke liye, ke kuch jagha ke liye, kuch certain segment of people ke liye hi launch kiya jayega, this e rupee, in order to understand how is it working and whether it is feasible to launch for the entire country or not. Thik hai? So I hope aapko the purpose, the reason behind why RBI has launched this concept note on CVDC is clear to you. Now moving forward and talking about the concept note. As I have mentioned, the concept note will talk about the objectives of issuing CBDC, the choices available, what are the various choices available, whether it will be a retail mode or a wholesale mode, the benefits and the risk associated in issuing a CBDC and which is commonly referred to as the Indian digital rupee. Theek hai? So, agar CBDC ki baat ki jai Indian concept mein, it will be known as E rupee. Simple. Now, these are not going to be different from the bank notes. Theek hai? Bank notes ki tarahi rahenge. But since it is a digital currency, it will be much easier and faster and cheaper to launch such and moreover, we will be saving more on the operational cost. So, jitne bhi operational cost involved hote hain, currency management pe, all of that will be significantly reduced if we are having a central bank digital currency. So, what was RBI's approach in issuing this concept note? So, RBI has 
talked about two basic consideration. The first consideration is to create a digital rupee for India, specific for India, that is as close and as safe as the paper currency. So, as we have paper currency, hai, 10 rupee ke note, 500 rupee ke note, utna hi safe or utna hi close banane ki koshish kar rahi hai RBI digital rupee ko. And secondly, in order to manage the process of introducing digital rupee in a seamless manner. So that, jaise, jaise abhi aaj ki case mein, if you see the see the physical rupee then it the physical notes are easily accessible to all the population of the country Aisa nahi ki kuch logon ko diya gaya hai. nothing like that it is uh, made available to everyone similarly rbi want to make this e rupee accessible by all the population of the country so these are the two basic guidelines or considerations that RBI has thought or kept in mind while outlining the approach to launch the e-rupee. Okay? Now you are talking about e-rupee, digital rupee, central bank digital currency. What is this e What is this e-rupee? Simple, nothing rocket science. It is just the digital form of the currency notes that we are having. So all the currency notes issued by the, by the central bank or the RBI Uska jo digital form hoga, the digital form of that currency will be known as e rupee. Simple as that. And now it will also be known as the sovereign or independent currency because it will also be issued by central bank. So RBI hi issue karegi and therefore the e rupee or the digital rupee it is going to be a sovereign currency and it will be in line with the monetary policy of the country so that will be in accordance with the monetary policy of the country apart from that if we talk about the legal tender then yes this e rupee or the digital rupee will be considered as a digital tender or a legal tender that means it will be acceptable and it can be freely convertible into any kind of other money or notes of the country. For example, if you have a physical note hai 500 rupees ki, and if this e-rupee is issued in the country, then you can easily and freely convert the e-rupee into your physical notes. Ya physical notes ko convert karke digital e-rupee le sakte ho. However, there is one more consideration that RBI has taken into account that is not having an interest. Iska kya matlab hua? Suppose if the currency is freely convertible. That means, you have physical cash ko convert karke e-rupee mein kar liya. Agar RBI chaati hai, if RBI wants the people should uh, in, should, in, should uh, RBI wants to encourage the introduction or the acceptance of e rupee among the people? Uske pas kya option hai? It can provide certain benefit, right? Certain benefit or incentive with e rupee. For example, if you convert your physical cash into e rupee, you will be getting certain amount of interest. For example, agar aisa kuch issue hota hai, in that case, the banks around the country will fail. Why would banks fail? Banks will fail because people will now not keep their physical cash with the bank but instead they will be converting all of their physical cash into e-rupee. Therefore, RBI is not in favor of introducing any kind of interest or incentive on the e-rupee. E pe, as of now, there will not be any kind of incentive because if incentive is provided, people will be more lucrative to, to convert their physical cash or their bank notes into e rupee because of the features that e rupee provides. Ek to freely accessible hoga, bank mein jane ki zarurat nahi hai, everything would be online. Plus, this e rupee would be available even in the offline mode, right? So, it will convenience provide karegi e rupee, and therefore, if this interest or incentive function is associated with e rupee, that will become very difficult for the banking system to survive in India. I hope e rupee aap ko samaj a gaya. Now, one question for you the question is, where will this e rupee come in the balance sheet of? RBI. So, jo hamare central bank hai, the central bank of India, RBI, the in the balance sheet of RBI, where will this e rupee come? Will it be a part of the asset side or the liability side? You need to write it down in the comment section. Okay. 
as well as with reasoning now moving forward and understanding how it is different from cryptocurrency so see now the difference would come in the technology so in case of cryptocurrency technology and who is regulating it in case of technology the e rupee rbi has not clearly defined that what will be the technology the underlying technology behind e rupee but if we talk about cryptocurrency it is the distributed ledger the blockchain technology now we need to see whether rbi will be introducing the same distributed ledger for e rupee or will it be going for the centralized system राइट सेंट्रलाइज्ड टेक्नोलॉजी तो वो चीज हमें देखनी पड़ेगी उसके अलावा द मेजर डिफरेंस विद क्रिप्टो करेंसीज एंड द ई रुपी विल बी दैट द ई रुपी विल बी इश्यूड एंड कंट्रोल्ड बाय आरबीआई सो आरबीआई विल बी इश्यूइंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग द इश्यूएंस ऑफ सच e rupee the digital rupee however if we talk about cryptocurrencies they are private in nature and the, the amount of anonymity anonymity associated with cryptocurrencies sometimes makes it very vulnerable right now if we talk about global scenario is india the first country to think about central bank digital currency no if we talk about the number of countries who are exploring uh the introduction of cbdc that as of july 2022 this year only around 105 countries have explored cbdc and 10 countries have already launched cbdc the first being the bahamian sand dollar the sand dollar is the first uh digital currency that has been issued across the world now moving forward to what is rbi's plan for cbdc to so rbi in first of all it has talked about the type of cbdc what type of cbdc that rbi is contemplating so rbi based on the usage and functions of the digital rupee as well as the level of accessibility has talked about two kinds of or two types of cbdc the first will be retail cbdc and the other will be wholesale agar retail ki baat kare so this retail cbdc the the digital form of uh, the, the digital form of our rupee will be primarily meant for the private sector the non financial consumers and businesses so all kind of retailers jitne bhi retail transactions hain be it for the private sector non financial sectors as well as businesses will be dealing with the retail cdc however rbi has not explained how e rupee can be used for merchant transactions par jitne bhi retail honge wo retail cbdc ke andar aayenge now if we talk about wholesale transaction now this will have a restricted access that means these wholesale cbdc will be made available to certain financial institution certain select financial institutions will be given the access to these wholesale cbdc and it will be meant for settling any kind of interbank transfers jaise hum repo rate use karke interbank market mein settle karte hain transactions ko similarly similarly this wholesale cbdc will be used to make any kind of interbank transfers and any kind of related wholesale transfers related to money management the money management related ya liquidity management related ke liye wholesale cbdc ko use kiya jayega and rbi believes that by making available cbdc for the wholesale purposes or for settling the interbank transfers will make it a potential to transform the settlement system in the country now moving forward to the issuance model what will be the model of issuance so there are three types but we'll talk about only two the third is hybrid not so important the first is a single tier model that is the direct model whereby central bank rbi will be solely responsible for managing all aspects of digital rupee system be it the issuance of the system keeping an account of the system or the transaction verification now jo bhi hum discuss kar rahe hain it is very factual and itne concepts related nahi hain these are certain information loaded news that you need to know and understand theek hai to direct model single tier model hota hai jisme rbi jo hoga it will be solely responsible for issuing or making an account or keeping an account and for transaction verification so that means rbi and the public directly the second is the indirect model what is the indirect model it is also known as a two tier model whereby rbi and the intermediaries together will be managing or will be responsible for issuing for account keeping and transaction verification how 
सो सेंट्रल बैंक विल बी इशूइंग द सीबीडीसी टू कंज्यूमर्स इनडायरेक्टली कैसे सेंट्रल बैंक इशू करेगा सीबीडीसी नाउ इशुएंस पार्ट इज डन बाय आरबीआई नाउ द इशुएंस विल फर्दर नीड्स टू बी वेरीफाइड एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अमंग द पब्लिक दैट विल बी डन बाय द इंटरमीडियरीज इंटरमीडियरीज सच एज बैंक्स एंड अदर सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स ठीक है नाउ द इनडायरेक्ट मॉडल जो हम बात कर रहे हैं इट इज वेरी मच सिमिलर टू द करंट फिजिकल करेंसी मैनेजमेंट जहां पे आरबीआई फिजिकल नोट्स को इशू करती है एंड बैंक्स मैनेज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ दिस नोट्स टू द पब्लिक ठीक है तो इसीलिए दे आर सींग दैट इज अ सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन द इनडायरेक्ट मॉडल एंड द इनडायरेक्ट मॉडल ऑफ करेंसी फिजिकल करेंसी मैनेजमेंट ठीक है तो एनी काइंड ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अकाउंट कीपिंग एडहेरेंस टू द लॉ और केवाईसी मैनेजमेंट एंटी मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग काउंटरिंग ऑफ टेररिज्म ऑल ऑफ दीज प्लस ट्रांजैक्शन वेरिफिकेशन विल बी डन बाय द इंटरमीडियरीज सच एज बैंक्स एंड द सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द स्ट्रक्चर और द फॉर्म ऑफ सीबीडीसी तो जो क्या होगा स्ट्रक्चर सो स्ट्रक्चर कुड बी ईदर अ टोकन बेस्ड जहां पे अ टोकन विल बी जनरेटेड एंड इट विल बी अ बियरर इंस्ट्रूमेंट लाइक बैंक नोट्स इसका क्या मतलब हुआ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय अ बियरर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स बियरर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स मीन एनी पर्सन हु इज हैविंग दैट टोकन विल बी कंसीडर्ड एज द ओनर ऑफ दैट डिजिटल रुपी सिंपल जिसके पास टोकन होगा वही उसका ओनर होगा right so person so now person who has the token will now have to verify the transactions and once it is verified then only he can use that transaction so this token based transaction or token based cbdc will be much ideal for the cbdc r r here stands for retail purposes so retail purposes ke liye token based cbdc ka use hoga the second is account based system account based system kya chahta hai so account based system would require the maintenance of records of, records of balances and transactions as we have talked about this will be considered for cbdc wholesale part or wholesale mein we have talked about interbank settlement so in case of interbank settlement we need to maintain the record of the balances of the transaction so jitne bhi holders honge all the intermediaries and all these intermediaries having will have certain amount of digital rupee now we need to make a balance and keep an account of that so the cbdc under the account based system will indicate or will talk about the ownership of the entire monetary balances pure system ke paas kitna digital rupee hai that will talk about or will be talked about by the account based system simple now talking about availability if i have i have mentioned this digital rupee will be available in offline mode as well thereby it is trying to include even those sectors where there is poor or no internet connectivity theek hai to cbtc will can be transacted without the internet however there is again an again certain risk associated what is the risk there the risk is of double spending what is double spending since aapka jo uh, since kya hoga since there is no internet so the cbdc will not be updated to the common ledger jo hamara common ledger hai usme update nahi hoga because internet available nahi hai and that could lead to double spending अगर सपोज आपने पेमेंट करी और सामने वाले बोला कि मुझे तो रिसीव ही नहीं हुआ बिकॉज इट इज नॉट शोइंग इन दी लेजर राइट सो वॉट यू विल डू यू विल मेक द पेमेंट अगेन इफ इन केस बिकॉज आपके अकाउंट से भी डेबिटेड नहीं दिखाएगा बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ इंटरनेट सो दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम एंड इनहेरेंट प्रॉब्लम विथ इशूइंग CBDC or e rupee in the offline mode however RBI is contemplating to find out a solution for this now moving forward to the advantages and now we'll talk about advantages as well as the issues if we talk about the advantages the first and foremost advantage is reduction in operational cost that is the cost associated with the physical currency management will be reduced and therefore it will help in fostering or boosting the financial inclusion into the country and by if suppose the offline mode also comes for the e rupee that will that is going to boost financial inclusion like anything and it is also going to bring resiliences in the financial system making the system more efficient and also providing an opportunity for the payment system and the operators to come up innovation into this segment theek hai apart from that it will provide the public with the uses now since cryptocurrencies have become a 
most popular or lucrative form of investment by many people. Now, this e rupee will provide the benefit of the private virtual currencies such as cryptos. However, along with the benefits, it is not going to be associated with any kind of the risk that is possessed with this private virtual currency. That means as it is issued by RBI and controlled by the central bank, these risks that are associated with private virtual currencies will not be associated. Apart from that, e-rupee system is going to be exclusive. What do you mean by exclusive? Suppose the government comes, the government comes up with certain schemes and subsidies and suppose the government subsidy is that you need to spend, suppose, 2000 rupees government will be crediting in your account and you need to spend this on making payment for your education fees suppose you agar ab ye aapke account mein through direct benefit transfer it has been transferred to your account but you are not spending on education and you are use and you you want to use this money in order to purchase something suppose you you went and you wanted to shop something now the token that has that the government has generated in form of e rupee will not be acceptable at the shop because it will be designed in such a manner by npci that unless you are making or making use of this rupee for making payment for education sector this rupee cannot be used for any other purposes and therefore it is said that e rupee system is going to be exclusive and therefore it will result in less or restricted misuse of government's form government's funds and that means government will be in a better position to channelize and increase the welfare of the country for the simple reason that however it is targeting to send the money or send certain benefits to the public of the country will be reached through this e rupee and there will be less misuse of the government funds and thereby the government objective of having more improvement in the welfare of the country will be boosted apart from that rbi is also contemplating to make use of cbdc for improvement in cross border transactions so any kind of cross border transactions that will become very easier if it is done through the digital rupee that means we will be saved on the exchange rate risk ठीक है सपोज एक्सचेंज रेट रिस्क का क्या मतलब होता है आज की डेट में सपोज वन डॉलर इक्वल टू रुपीज सेवेंटी है बट द टाइम यू मेक द पेमेंट इफ सपोज वन डॉलर इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फाइव हो जाता है देन यू लूज हियर यू नीड टू मेक मोर पेमेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर रुपी बट थ्रू दिस थ्रू दिस इंटरनेट बेस्ड रुपी यू विल नाउ बी इन अ बेटर पोजिशन टू मेक रियल टाइम सेटलमेंट ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्शन दैट यू आर having i hope this is clear to you now talking about the issues now issues if we talk about so it is the same same or similar issue related to that of other digital currency and that is of cyber security so the cbt the cbdc system will be facing similar risk of cyber attacks that the current payment system are exposed to jaise upi wagaira abhi exposed hai waise hi risk dekha ja raha hai that cbdc will also be facing apart from that there can be privacy issues as well because since cbdc will be issued there will be a huge set of data that will be generated and this data will be generated in real time so there is privacy so the privacy of data concerns will be there because there will be less of anonymity and the effective use of this data will be a challenge so in order to maintain the anonymity anonymity so what rbi is wanting rbi is contemplating to have 100% anonymity so that privacy issues are not there but will it happen in the real scenario it is a challenge for rbi and the third reason is digital divide and financial illiteracy iska kya matlab hua so according to a report by by certain agency and certain survey uske according it is said that only 48% of the rural males and 24% of the rural females have ever used the internet iska matlab more than 50% of the population of the rural sector or the rural india has never ever used the internet to financially literate karna bahut difficult hai and with the introduction of cbdc when the entire system will now be entirely online it to the rbi is thinking that it may widen the gender based hurdle in the 
financial inclusion along with digital divide since we have digital device divide because people are financially illiterate and because of this financial illiteracy and with the introduction of cbdc it will result in further widening this gender based gap as well as uh, in excluding these people from the financial inclusion hum ye soch rahe hain ki financial inclusion hoga but that can only happen if these people this set of people the rural india is made financially literate sabse pehla kaam jo hona chahiye that should be of making such this population financially literate and then only introducing cbdc in india i hope this is clear to you so these are the certain features associated with the launch of e rupee that rbi has mentioned in its concept note questions regarding this will be posted in the another session so that you can grasp all of these as of now and solve it at a later date so this was all for today that i wanted to discuss with you i hope you enjoyed the session in case of any doubt you can always write it down to me in the comment section and till then take care and keep learning bye bye